Hey, and welcome back for some more Turtle Talk. Uh, we'll be taking a look at some of the Movie Star Turtles this week, which are launching right now. Our review is brought to you by Playmates Toys today that sponsored us by providing some of these uh, Movie Star Turtles. So this is a relaunch, uh, a reissue of a reissue. Uh, these originally came out in, I believe, in 2021 <clears throat> as a Walmart exclusive. They came along with uh, a larger box with these four base figures. They also came with Splinter, and they also came with Super Shredder. Now, these four base figures and Splinter were originally issued in the Movie Star line, but Super Shredder was not. There were some creative liberties with that one. I believe it was just a repackaged reissue of Super Shredder. Uh, the Foot Soldier was the other one from the Movie Star line, and he commands quite a premium right now on the secondary market, getting that uh, stylized Foot Soldier from the film. So I'm just going to show you one of the packaging because they're very similar. So we'll take a look. You can see it's uh, it's very reminiscent of the old school style of packaging for the Movie Star line with the characters on the right here. I'll show you some of the differences in a moment. And on the back, they show you the characters in the line along with some additional um, scenes from the film as well. Now the differences in the packaging, which I'll, I'll show you here, like starting with Leo. You can see they, they moved a couple things, like the sticker uh, is actually described uh, up the top of the pad as opposed to the uh, on a sticker. Uh, also, you'll notice the accessories are different, which is kind of a bummer, because the characters had individualized accessories. Leo had a club here. Um, what do we got here? Donnie had a fire extinguisher that was uh, more akin from the, the second film, the Secret of the Ooze, and not the first movie. Um, Raphael had these uh, weird objects, I'm not sure what they are, not like a sewer lid or something as well. And last but not least, Mikey had those combat cold cuts, which were from the beginning of Secret of the Use as well. So, uh, kind of a bummer they don't have those cool accessories. I mean, the original figures also had these standard accessories. They came with the first release of the characters, their, their standard weapons and the unpainted scheme. But they also had kind of weapons that were painted as well, or had a lot more going on there. They had pizza boxes and colored throwing stars and unique sort of... Um, weapons that we saw from the film, which I thought was really cool, and it's a bummer that they didn't reissue those with these. Uh, also, what you'll see is the card is a little different here. It said, um, in the original version, a rubberized sort of turtle feel. We'll see if they kept that rubberized feel with the turtles, because they had sort of a unique feel, and that was sort of the gimmick behind them. The figures look relatively the same compared to the original releases, so the molds look like they were just recycled here. Uh, which is good because we want that standard um, look for the characters and we're doing classic throwbacks. I never got the Movie Star Turtles as a kid, so this is kind of cool to be able to get them right now. Um, and they're pretty much got a lot more deco going on in them. They got the battle damage on the turtle shells. They have those spots on their bodies and they look a lot closer to the characters from the film. So hence the, the, movie, star, the movie Star name there. Uh, the only big difference we can see so far is the weapons aren't the same, but we'll crack them open and we'll see if they have that rubbery texture. All right, we're going to try to preserve our card backs here. And we're going to start with the, the Fearless Leader in his uh, Movie Star Deco here. Um, we've, you've also seen us do some other turtles based on the movies from uh, other producers. And uh, love Movie Turtles. Huge fan of the movie uh, still to this day. It's, uh, it's up there. I mean, I love Mutant Mayhem. That was great too, but this is kind of a classic. It'd be hard to, to top that sort of classic feel to it. So the weapons are here in this little uh, container and they will be held in by those little invisible, um, I forget what they're called, but the not cable ties, but these little invisible ties there. No additional accessories, like I said, uh, like the original ones did. Uh, you could cut or loosen this string that holds them in here. I hate untying these. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better to cut. Oh, that's why they put a uh, tape over the one end. Maybe it'd be better to cut it if you have some sprue cutters. I might grab that for the next turtle. But uh, you pull that out and you got your turtle coming out here. So I'll bring you in close in a minute to check out all these turtles. Um, the skin texture does not feel as rubberized as I recall. My friend had these and I remember them kind of being like almost slimy texture. These feel like just the dry plastic to them. So I don't think they kept that um, rubberized. The, the headband does feel rubberized, <laughs> but not the, the figure itself. Hence probably why they changed the logo on the package so it doesn't have that callback there. Uh, they still have, or he still has, the um, 
the cross guard or the uh, holders here on the back and he has the strap set up pretty similar to how he had in the film. Uh, he has kind of that movie grimace on his face. He's got way improved articulation over the original turtle that just went up and down. He's got his arms on a ball joint here, same with his legs. So um, other than that, there's no additional articulation, just that point of uh, at the hips there. So um, there's still kind of 5 POA, but a much better 5 POA. I mean, his head is also on a ball joint, so a uh, little improved there. And then we got the weapons. Uh, these are best taken out with the sprue cutter, but these are essentially the same weapons you got with the traditional release of the turtles. So Leonardo has his uh, katanas, and then they have that pizza knife, the throwing stars, the, the tiny little wedge thing, and the reaper uh, that pretty much everyone came with, uh, including Shredder. He got this assortment of uh, uh, weapons or pizza knives and whatnot. So um, these are pretty much the same in the unpainted style too. And he came originally with the unpainted katanas as well, but it was just nice to get those additional um, weapons on top of that as well. So uh, why don't we move over and check out Donnie next. Well, as Leo's chilling out over there on the side, we're gonna crack open Donnie the same way. Do my uh, 90 degree cutting technique here so I don't ruin the pad, but I maximize how much of this plastic clamshell I am cutting off the card back, so in order to preserve the card back. Um, like I said, they're all the same. You got one, you kind of have them all. Nothing's changing there. I did bring my sprue cutters out for this one though, just to speed up how much time we take here. And he comes with two bows. Uh, nothing different on there. He's not going to wield two bows. I also find the sprue cutters are really good for getting close, so you could shave off that little um, attachment nice and smooth to the weapon, so it's sort of seamless. Breaking and twisting motion doesn't do as good a job as using a sprue cutter. So I highly recommend using a sprue cutter to get the weapon out. And now we'll get our Donnie here. So Donnie, same way. He doesn't have that rubberized skin, same articulation on this guy. And we'll get you a, a close shot of all of them soon. <clears throat> but he also has that holster on the back so you could stick in that bow there and that should go in nice and smooth. Yep, and then you could also pop it into his hands. Uh, so with the enhanced articulation, it should be easier to do sort of a two-handed pose. Um, let's see here. Maybe not, because the wrist doesn't turn, just the, uh, just the arm. So you still can't do that two-handed pose with this guy. But he's a classic throwback. I'm not looking for maximized articulation. You have the Ninja Elite series for that. These are just fun classic throwbacks to get these uh, Playmate style, 1990s version of these figures, uh, particularly if you miss them the first time around. Uh, this is a nice way to score these guys again, and that's why I'm kind of happy Playmates is reissuing the line. Um, we'll hop right into uh, Mikey here. Is reissuing these lines because a lot of us missed them the first time around, or maybe we didn't get all of them, or they were hard to find, or they were, I don't know, a little niche and we weren't interested at the time, but maybe now we're like, man, I regret not getting that. Um, I mean, it started getting crazy at one point. I recall that there were like cavemen turtles, there were Star Trek turtles, just like turtles for everything. Um, so <laughs> it's these classic ones though, I, I really appreciate and I miss. So it's kind of nice to see the classic line come back and them expand it to this. I, I missed this in 2021 when there were sort of, I think a Walmart exclusive at the time to come in this pack um, to get the whole set along with Splinter and that I don't know why they didn't do the foot soldier they did the super shredder instead uh as far as i could tell they there never was a movie star super shredder so um if you could find it in your research and prove me wrong please let me know in the comments but uh as far as we could tell there we did not see one uh anywhere um including all the different online sort of uh encyclopedias of uh, ninja turtle figures there is no mention of a uh, movie star shredder um or even a sh or especially a super shredder uh, so again, Mikey, same as his brothers here, um, same articulation and everything there. The headbands are a little bit different from figure to figure, so I like that. They're also different skin tones, which they should be. Um, he seems to get a better crossbody pose here than Donnie did. I don't know, maybe I just did it wrong. Yeah, okay, so you can't kind of get a bow. You just can't get the right angle uh, with the hands. That's the problem. Um, so it's kind of hard to grab that two-handed. They're just because they're at two different angles. So with Mikey, he has his nunchaku, uh, so you could put those in his hand. You could use one or two, and then you could pop another one onto the belt, which I appreciate here. So he has some loops in the back. It might be a little tight, 
and we'll try to pop this in here um, right here yep oh, that's not too bad and I think you just kind of have to uh, wedge wedge them in the side here yep there we go they're gonna have to bend um, I always had a problem with these over time they would just get too worn and snap <laughs> so it always I always get nervous when I have to bend them for extended periods of time so there's our Mikey rounded out the front there losing his belt Everyone else had these nice cross straps, um, and I think it was because they had their weapons or in like these bandoliers, where Mikey and Raph, they had them at the waist, so it was a little bit different. Uh, let's polish off with Raph here, close out the set. Um, yeah, I don't know if they do a splinter uh, single issue like they did with the turtles here. Uh, so far, these are um, the only ones I've seen uh, in this line drop. And these have been available, uh, or they're starting to hit shelves right now at Walmart and at Target. So they're not exclusive. Um, I've seen them both places. And uh, a couple of the fan channel sites are starting to take orders on these for an October release. Um, or maybe later, it just depends on when things get to them. Uh, so if you don't find these in the stores, don't freak out. You can get it off online retailers right now as well. Uh, again, these sprue cutters make a big difference if you're trying to get a nice... Um, close cut to the weapon without having any tabs left over i mean this is almost perfect i'll show you on the close-ups in a moment uh, especially on things like the side you don't want a little tab sticking out of them um, so they get you nice and close without ruining anything and then we got the brawler of the group uh very angry in the turtle movies uh he kept that that uh, sort of personality we'll test out the belt here in the front yeah it's easy to pop those in um, but i'll put them in his hands so again, another turtle with no bandolier. So it just kind of drifts. The belt is uh, having a hard time staying on them. You gotta find that nice tight place where it's uh, snug. Yep, there we go. And then you got the other side here. So yeah, um, kind of <laughs> mad I missed out on these when I was a kid because they look pretty cool. And my friend did have them, so I love that rubber feel they had. It was just so unique and weird. It kind of felt like a turtle. Uh, over time, I noticed those kind of rubber bodies on figures get slimy. I don't know if it's a, it collects moisture or if it's just the oils within it break down or something. I was just doing a video for Rebel Scum the other day and my job of the hut that I had from 2010 uh, is all oily when I went to Dodge it now. <laughs> Very slimy, like it just would never feel dry. So um, I wonder if those figures are kind of like that right now. Uh, anything that had that rubber body, it's been like 30 years if the oils sort of broke down and came out from it and are just kind of make it feel perpetually wet, which would be gross. But these are not like that. They're not rubbery. They're hard plastic. Um, so you don't get that feel. So why don't we come in and check these guys out up close, all this great detail, and I'll show you just a little bit more of the features. I'm going to show you a little bit of detail on these guys up close. Um, a lot more paint applications, obviously, than the original release back in the... Uh, early 80s, uh, or I'm sorry, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, these ones, you know, notably have those spots to make them look more like their movie star um, equivalent. Uh, they have uh, a lot more sort of um, detail on their pads here, a lot more in the shell, these little crease lines, these slashes you could see here on Leonardo. Uh, obviously the bandoliers are completely retooled and different. Uh, the shells a little shinier, a little more concise than the ones on the classic release. Um, and you can see even just like the detailing on the, the legs themselves a lot more, the little pock marks and whatnot. So they kind of made these characters a little more lively all the way to the eyes as well. And then articulation makes a big difference in terms of being able to maneuver them. Although it's still limited to that 5 POA, they could do a lot more than they could previously. Um, so same with any of them here. Donatello is going to have that different shade here. His headband's a slightly different um, set to the side here. The shells um, are, are pretty similar to each one. I think they kept sort of the same slash marks. The paint applications might be a little bit different, but they sort of kept the damage in the same places here. So that mold was kind of reused. And I think the body molds were reused. All they did is really change the color. And then the heads are obviously going to be different. Um, or maybe not. I think they all have the same grimace on. <laughs> so the... Uh, Except for Mikey. Mikey doesn't have teeth. But uh, Leonardo, maybe a little more teeth than Donatello. So maybe Donatello... Yeah, I guess they all do have different grimaces. My bad on that. Okay, so they all have different faces. So the heads are different on each one. Um, but the bodies should all be the same. And all they did is sort of 
different paint applications slightly on the, the shells, and then obviously on the skin tone. And that would change the paint application for these sprayed on spots are going to vary from turtle to turtle as well. Uh, but everything else on the decor should be basically the same. So with each turtle, you're going to have a different head and a different bandolier and then um, sort of different paint applications on the uh, on the top there. And then uh, Mikey, last but not least here, still has his, his happy-go-lucky demeanor and that bright, bright um, orange color on him. Or I'm sorry, not orange color. Well, he's got the orange, but I mean lime green sort of a look to him. So here's your set of your movie star turtles. Uh, kind of fun to have these guys, a little bit different, a little standout-ish, and they, they kind of have that creepy 90s aesthetic to them, which I love, so it sort of preserves that classic look. And again, if you missed them the first time around, here's a great chance to get these guys. Uh, we'll see how well this line sells, and hopefully they'll bring more if we get that uh, splinter. Uh, and his only real difference was the white cloak over the, the red cloak for that came with the classic figure. Um, and then the uh, foot soldier. Reissuing that would be fun because the original is still, I don't know, I've seen around $100 several times to pick that guy up. Um, and he was pretty good for the time. I gotta say, it looked a lot like the, the screen foot soldier. So they did a great job with that one. All right, I think that covers us. Uh, let's wrap it up. And that wraps another Turtle Talk segment here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed checking these guys out. Uh, they should be on the shelves now, like I said. So head to your local Target, your local Walmart. If you're not seeing them, just wait. They're on their way. Uh, we'll have a link up where you can order them if you want to get a whole case and not have to hunt them down. I have seen them pop up at some conventions recently um, locally, and they are commanding a premium because people are either buying them off the shelves or they're starting to get hard to find. But I noticed some of Playmate stuff is hard to find, and once it sells, it doesn't often restock. So it could be tricky to find these guys. Uh, so keep looking out for them. We'll have a link for where you can order them online. Uh, what's up next? Well, we're heading to Toy Fair this week, and we are going to be talking with Playmates, seeing what the plans are for the future. They're going to have some special events, so we'll be seeing stuff from Mute Mayhem. We'll be seeing likely classic retro releases and other surprises. So, you know, stay tuned for that coverage. Like, subscribe, and follow for all that coverage. Not just Ninja Turtles, but we'll be stopping by um, Super 7. We'll be stopping by NECA. We'll be stopping by 3-0. We'll be stopping by uh, a whole bunch more. I don't want to spoil all the surprises, but we'll be seeing, like, I don't know, over a dozen booths. <laughs> so we'll have a lot of coverage. Uh, it should be uh, slightly less uh, loud than it was at um, SDCC. It's not as crazy at Toy Fair. So we should be able to get uh, closer shots uh, and sh should be able to hear me a little clearer. And uh, there's a little breathing room. So <laughs> I, I generally feel like it's, it's more fun to cover that and it's, um, it just comes out better. So come back for that. Um, that's all for this time. Uh, as always, like I said, like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you guys next time.